टुडे आवर टॉपिक इज सॉर्टिंग सॉर्टिंग इज ऑर्डरिंग ए लिस्ट ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट्स वी कैन डिस्टिंग टू टाइप्स ऑफ सॉर्टिंग इफ द नंबर ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट इज स्मॉल अनफ टू फिट्स इन टू द मेन मेमरी देन द सॉर्टिंग इज कॉल्ड इंटरनल सॉर्टिंग एंड इफ द नंबर ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट इज सो लार्ज दैट सम ऑफ देम डिसाइड ऑन द एक्सटर्नल स्टोरेज ड्यूरिंग द सॉर्ट देन इट इज एक्सटर्नल सॉर्टिंग टूडे वी विल लर्न another internal sorting it is insertion sort insertion sort works similarly as we sort in our hand in a card game let us start playing card example imagine being handed one card at a time you take the first card in your hand then you sort the second card to the left or right of it the third card is placed to the left in between or to the right depending on its size and also all the following cards are placed in the right position have you ever sorted cards this way before a similar approach is used by insertion sort insertion sort is a sorting algorithm that places an unsorted elements at its suitable place in each iteration there are some elements in an array and i want to sort it in ascending order so first iteration in case of first iteration take the second value second value and this value name say temp so here temp is 17 now compare 25 with temp that is 25 with 17 so which one is greater 25 is greater so change now second iteration in case of second iteration you have to make the third variable as temp so here temp is 31 now compare 25 with 31 no need to change now compare 17 with 31 because 31 is greater no need to change now it comes third iteration in case of third iteration you have to make the this 13 as temp so 13 is temp now now you have to compare 31 with 13 so which one is greater 31 is greater so shift 31 here now what is temp 13 now compare temp with 25 that is 13 with 25 so which one is greater 25 is greater so shift now compare 13 that is temp with 17 which one is greater 17 is greater so shift now in the first place you have to write 13 in this way third iteration works and in case of fourth iteration in case of fourth iteration you have to make temp as 2 so compare first 2 with 31 which one is greater say which one is greater 31 is greater if 31 is greater then shift now temp is 2 so compare temp with 25 2 with 25 25 is greater so shift now compare temp with 17 that is 17 with 2 so 17 is greater shift and now finally compare 13 with 2 so which one is greater 13 is greater so shift and finally you have to write 2 at the first position in this way in session sort works now we will learn the programming of insertion sort now i have some question question is if the element number of this array is 5 then how many iterations are required to sort this array by insertion sort it is 4 in case of first iteration which one is same if it is zeroth element if it is first if it is second element so in case of first iteration first element is temp in case of second iteration second element is temp in case of third iteration third element and in case of fourth iteration fourth element is temp now in case of first iteration you have to compare with which element you have to compare the element before first element in case of second iteration you have to compare with which element you have to compare this one is temp second element so the elements before the second elements and in case of third iteration it is the element before the third element in this way now the algorithm algorithm is here the total number of elements in your array say 5 so value of no is 5 okay so 
this loop will execute how many times? 1 to less than n o means 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 times. This loop is for 4 iterations. Now, say I am taking the third iteration. So, in case of third iteration, what is the value of i? It is 3 because it is third iteration. I start counting iteration from 1. So, it is 3. Now, this is the situation in case of third iteration. Now, in case of third iteration, which one is temp? It is the third element. So, 0, 1, 2, 3. So, temp is 13. Now, you have to compare with which element? The element before temp, this element, this element and this element. So, if, if this element here the value of i is 3, here 2, here 1 and here 0. So, I have to compare with the second, with second element, with first element and with 0th element. So, I start comparing with second element. So, j is 2. So, j is i minus 1. So, it is 2 because i is 3. Now, you have to compare with this element to the first element means till the value of j equals to 0 you have to compare you have to compare j equals to 2 to j equals to 0 means j equals to 2 j equals to 1 and j equals to 0 so i am starting one for loop is arrj greater than temp what is arrj arrj means j is 2 what is arrj it is 31 so is 31 greater than temp what is temp 13 so, is 31 greater than 13 and also you have to check is j greater than equals to 0. So, first case is 31 greater than 13. Yes, 31 greater than 13 and is j greater than equals to 0. Yes, j equals to 2. So, both conditions satisfied. Then, ar at j plus 1 equals to ar at j. So, shift 31 here means at ar at 3 you have to give the value of ar at 2. So, it, this is the position of air at 3, you have to give the value of air at 2. So, 31 goes say from uh, second position to third position. Now, j minus minus, what is the value of j now? j becomes 1. Now, execute the loop again. Is air at j greater than temp? Means, if air at i greater than temp, air at j is now, j is 1 now. So, it is 25. Is 25 greater than 13? Yes. And j greater than equals to 0? Yes, j equals to 1 now. Then shift ar at j plus 1 equals to ar at j. Then shift 25 at location 2. So, what is the value of j now? j is now 1. So, shift ar at 1 to ar at 2. So, shift 25 here. Now, j minus minus, what is the value of j now? j becomes 0 now. So, again execute the loop. Is ar at j greater than temp? Is ar at j, j is 0 now. So, is 17 greater than 13? Yes. And is j greater than equals to 0? Not greater than but equals to 0. So, two conditions satisfied. Then shift 17 here. So, shift ar at 0 at location ARR1. So, shift 17 here. J minus minus. J becomes what? J becomes minus 1. Now, in case of J, if J becomes minus 1, this loop will get false, will get false because J greater than equals to 0 maximum. So, J, J is minus 1. So, it is not possible to execute this loop. So, now, one task is still remaining. The remaining task is you have to shift our temp value to the first place. First place means what is the value of j now? Value of j now is minus 1. So, you have to write ar at j plus 1 equals to temp. What is the value of j? j is minus 1. Minus 1 plus 1 means 0. So, at location ar at 0, you have to write temp. So, at location ar at 0, you shift your temp value. In this way, this algorithm works. Now, I want to see the code of this algorithm. See the code. This is our code for insertion sort. I am declaring one array of 30 elements. Supply the number of elements. So, take the value from the user. By executing the for loop, take the value 
in this array and then this code is for our insertion sort program this total code we already discussed this thing and after that execute again this loop to print our sorted array so see just run this program in your machine see the code pause your video go through the program see the code this is for insertion sort and this is for printing now when i run the program how many number of elements say 5 i am giving 78 23 56 12 and 9 so after sorting i get this array sorted array now we will learn the complexity analysis of insertion sort first worst case complexity suppose an array is in descending order and i want to sort it in ascending order in this case worst case complexity occurs see this example the array is sorted in descending order and i want to sort it in ascending order so in case of first iteration you have to compare 4 with 3 so one comparison is required in case of second iteration you have to compare 2 with 4 and then 2 with 3 so two comparisons are required and in case of third iteration it is three comparisons one with 4 one with 3 one with 2 so there are four elements so maximum number of comparisons are three so if there are n element then maximum number of comparisons are n minus 1 so 3 then 2 then 1 if there are four elements so if there are n elements then total number of comparison is n minus 1 then plus n minus 2 plus in this way 3 2 1 the result is n into n minus 1 by 2 that is n square minus n by 2 that is order of n square that is the worst case average case this is our array this is not sorted i have to sort it by insertion sort in case of first iteration you have to compare 5 with 8 so one comparison is required in case of second iteration you have to compare 7 with 8 then 7 with 5 so two comparisons are required in case of third iteration you have to compare 1 with 8 1 with 7 1 with 5 so three comparisons are required so finally for six elements in our array there are six elements 1 2 3 4 5 6 for six elements there are maximum five comparisons are required in the last iteration so total number of comparisons are in case of six elements it is 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 so when the total number of elements are in then total number of comparisons are n minus 1 n minus 2 in minus 1 plus n minus 2 plus n minus 3 in this way it is till 1 so it is the result is n into n minus 1 by 2 that is order of n square that is also the average case so the worst case complexity and the average case complexity for insertion sort is order of n square for every nth element n minus 1 number of comparisons are made thus the total number of comparisons also for average case is n into n minus 1 that is order of n square base case time complexity the base case becomes more interesting say if our array is already sorted then there is precisely one comparison in the inner loop and no swap operations at all because array is already sorted so with n elements that is n minus 1 steps why so because we start from the second element we thus come to n minus 1 comparison operations therefore we can say that the base case time complexity of insertion sort is order of n that is it takes linear time so in a nutshell we can say that complexity of insertion sort in odds case it is order of n square suppose an array is in descending order and you want to sort it in ascending order in this case worst case complexity occurs each element has to be compared with each of the other elements so for every nth element n minus 1 number of comparisons are made so total number of comparisons are from n minus 1 plus n minus 2 in this way it is 3 to 1 that is n square minus n by 2 it is order of n square that is the worst case complexity in case of 
best case complexity it is order of n. When the array is already sorted, the outer loop runs for n number of times whereas the inner loop does not run at all. So there are only n number of comparisons. Thus complexity is linear. And finally, average case. It is order of n square. It occurs when the elements of an array are in jumbled order that is neither ascending nor descending. Then the complexity is order of n square. This is your programming assignment. Write a C program to sort elements using insertion sort. And if you are facing any problem, you can ask me in the comment section. These are your homework. Choose the correct option and answer me in the comment section. Pause this video. Try to answer this question. I am waiting for your reply. Pause this video, try to answer this question. For getting more and more updates, please like, share and subscribe my channel. That's all for today. Thank you.